There are several problems on this problem set in which you actually need to balance equations for chemical reactions. So, we're going to write a balance reaction involving the acid H2CO3, which is carbonic acid, and KOH, which is potassium hydroxide. So the first thing you need to know, acid and a base meet. So acid plus base meet. You end up with water as one of your byproducts. So, I know that the first half of my reaction equation is H2CO3 plus KOH. And I know that that is going to end up with something and water. So, so what's left over? We have a K, which is 1 plus and a CO3, which is minus 2. And you know this because hydrogen has got a negative 1 charge, or hydrogen has got a positive 1 charge. So this one, because there's two of them, must have a negative 2 charge. All right, the first thing I always do is I figure out what is this. Okay, so we know that this is 1K, 2K, so we know that this has to be K2CO3 plus H2O. And the next thing that I do is I write down, okay, what do I have? So on this side here, I have got 1, 1, 2, 3 H's. So I've got 3 H's. 1 C, 1, 2, 3, 4 oxygens, and 1 potassium. And on this side over here, I have got 2 H's, 1 C, 1, 2, 3, 4 oxygens, and two Ks. So we can tell right away that these aren't balanced because these numbers aren't the same. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to balance this part and I'm going to make it two Ks on this side. So I'm going to put the letter two in front of that. So I now have two Ks. So these match. But that ends up meaning that I'm still going to have one C. But now instead of three H's, I have four H's. And instead of four oxygens, I have five oxygens. So our sides still don't match each other. They're still not equal. So we do the same process again on this side. How can I get these numbers to be the same? And I'm looking next at this H here, and I'm like, oh, convenient for me. I, need, I have two H's on this water. I have two H's here. Why don't I put a two in front of here? And now I have four H's. I still have one C and one K left, K left over, but I now have one, two, and then, so I'm not, sorry, I put the two here. I now have one, two, so I now have five oxygens. So four H's, four H's, one C, no, my pen's not writing. One C, one C, one oxygen, or five oxygens, and five oxygens. Yay! We have successfully gotten a balanced equation, which is our final product H2CO3 plus 2KOH yields K2CO3 plus. 2H2O. And that is our balanced equation.